updating and showing you how on edit works. So we've got a function that's running in the background. So anytime any content is updated within the first column, what it's going to do is it's going to apply the date to the second column. And this is only for the first column. So it's not going to do anything if we're updating and adding any of the other columns. It's only updates to the first column and it's going to automatically populate the date value. And we're also going to be showing you how you can track data, creating a custom log. So this is some of the event object information that's being passed through where we've got the range that's being passed in to our event object. We've got the user that made the changes and then all of this information can actually be tracked into the spreadsheet if we need it. Go ahead and create a function. So this function is going to be using the on edit function, which will automatically fire off every time any part of the document is edited. So we want to select a range that is being edited and we can get the range value from there. And we can also select a sheet and we can insert some content into the sheet. So let's go ahead and um, add in the value that we want to log into the spreadsheet. So we'll create a new sheet and give it a name of log. And this will give us a way to log out information directly into the sheet. So let's uh, go ahead and we're going to select the spreadsheet object. So using the spreadsheet app service, get active spreadsheet. And then this is going to be where we're going to, and then we get the sheet by name. So the sheet that we're trying to select is going to be log. So this is going to give us our spreadsheet. And then we, we want to do is we want to add in to the sheet. We're going to just append a row and that row is going to be whatever value that we want to add in. So this will give us a way that whenever it's edited, we're just going to append to the log and we want to get the E object there. So we'll output within the log and I'll just call it, uh, I'm actually going to update it to N for the new log and sending over the value of using the JSON stringify. We're going to stringify the event object and save that. So now when we type into the sheet, we can go into the log and we can see the information that's been updated there. So we logged in that it was column three, column three, and then the end row. So that's the range that was being updated. This is the user that was updating. So we get some information and then we get also the value that was added in. So we see that this was column number three and row number eight. And that's what was edited there. So we're able to see what was edited, the range that was edited. So that's being captured on edit. So what we want to do is we want to select and get the column range and then set a new date value every time it gets updated. So going into the sheet, let's go ahead and select the column. And the column is going to be coming from the range and then we get the column value and let's add that as well to the log. So we'll track in to get the column value that we're getting as being output. So going back into a sheet, we'll add some new content into it and then we see what we get logged. So we're getting the column three being logged there. So that's because that's uh, within C. So it's getting our column value and we'll check to see if the column is going to be equal to and this is only if we want updates being done in column number one, then that's the only time that we're actually going to log it. So going into if it's equal to column run, and then we can also get the row the same way that we got the column. So that's going to be the get row function. And then we can get the data cell that was updated and using the range we can offset the range by zero, one. So this is going to be updating the first part. And then let's uh, select the date cell and set value. And the value that we're setting, we'll just set whatever the current date is into the value. And we'll also only log it if it's those values. So save that. And let's uh, try that again. We're adding some editing. So it's not logging until we add content and update content into the first one. 
and so that's running the function and there we see we've got the date being automatically added into the second column so this will only happen if we make edits to the first column data and that's also for existing content it's going to overwrite whatever content we've got in there so we just got to be careful when we do have these functions running that on edit and they are writing data into the sheet that we ensure that we're not overwriting any of the data. So that's how you can use the on edit function within Google Sheets and run some code and also how you can log, create a custom log within your Google Sheets in order to track some of the actions that are happening within the app script.